Ugh, sorry. Hello, I'm doing a little review today on a set of books that my mother got for my son. And she got these from Ollie's Outlet Bargain. Or Bargain Outlet, whatever it's called. Anyway, it was a box set and it comes with four books. And I'm sure all of you guys have seen the little kids books that come in box sets. Normally though, I don't like them honestly. I don't like the box sets, honestly, because the books are, like, either really, really tiny, they're, like, this big, or, and they're not, like, good quality, or sometimes they're just, like, sort of boring and no kid would ever want to read them, but I think my mom, like, hit, like, unless they're, like, the, the, um, fairy tale treasuries and mother goose treasuries and stuff like that. And so my mom bought this, and this is just the first book in the set, and it's a pretty good size, like, see, that's my hand. It's a pretty good size book, and it's called Good Night, Little Bear. The illustrations in this are so freaking cute. Well, let me find my favorite. Well, actually, they're all really, really good. I'm just going to show them all to you because it's really, really good. Look. Isn't that cute? And now, look at this one. I love the colors on this page. Look. It's so colorful. It's really pretty. Um, it's a book that can be for a boy or a girl. Look at that. It has lots of different animals in it. And if you live, like, in the sticks, as I always say, if you live in the sticks, like I do, you know, your kids are going to be familiar with these animals. Look at the fox. Oh, I love the fox. I love the fox. Oh, my God. Look at the mice. I'm not a mouse fan, but look at how cute. I'd almost make you want a mouse. It's so cute. Oh, this one I loved. Because I don't know... Well, let me see if I can get it down here. Ah, there we go. I don't know if you guys have watched the other video on the owl book that I did. My son has been, become obsessed with owls. And this one has a picture of an owl in it. So this was like an instant favorite with him. And then this is the last page. But the illustrations are really, really good. Um, if you go to buy it and you're trying to get it and it's not at Ollie's, it's, um, oh, okay, it has the illustrator here. Um, illustrated by Veronica, well, I can't really see it, but I can't pronounce her last name, but it's up there, top line, and then Publications International. Lewis Weber is the CEO and has all the information like right like right here so if you want to get it you can copy that information now oh right here there's a website you see the website right here www.pilbooks.com um, so if you don't have an Ollie's around um, get it this is a good cheap one to get and it comes in a set of four so let me go ahead and get on to the next one but this was like my son's favorite um i think he lost one though and i'm not really sure where it is right at the moment so i'll only be showing you three um this one is rainbow kittens this one i think is like more geared towards a girl but it, it was okay it's it's a good book to teach them their colors um, see? <gasps> Ruby. Um, I mean, it's really, really awesome to teach a kid about their colors. Because all the kittens have different colors. And it's just, and again, the illustrations are really, really pretty. Oh, this one actually has an author on it. Oh, and I can actually pronounce this one, so this is good. This is good. You could probably actually look this one up. Look at how pretty. I just, oh, and look at that. Isn't that just the prettiest? Okay. This one is written by V.C. Graham and illustrated by Lisa Alderson. And it's the same website and everything, but let me just pop that up there for you. Oh, wait. Here. I didn't. Huh. There. Top two lines is the author and the illustrator, and then it's the same pilbooks.com. 
So you could probably get on there and order it if you're in online shopping. I'm not really into online shopping. Okay, and then the third book in this set is called Ten Tiny Puppies, which is a really good way to teach them. And most of the time, I don't like counting books or books that focus on colors or letters because, to me, they're kind of boring. Um, and in my experience, my son doesn't enjoy them because there's no storyline. But my son did like this one, and it's because it it teaches numbers, but it's in a fun way. It says one tiny puppy digs a wee hole, so it's like it. There's action. Um, three tiny puppies explore an old shoe, like they're doing stuff. The illustrations are really really good in this one too. Oh, and this one has the same writer as the um, other one about the kitten how pretty and then look at that it has really cute illustrations um it's by vc graham the illustrator's different it's marina Vendatova or something like that i can't pronounce that um pilbooks.com and it comes in the box set of this so it's really cute you could probably find them though, like if you just Google these books, you could probably find them. Um, especially on Amazon, I bet you could find these and they'd be like really cheap. You could probably pay like a penny for them and um, get them shipped for three ninety nine. So you could probably get them for four dollars from Amazon and have them mailed to you or something. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check that out. But you could probably definitely find them. They're really cute books. I really like having them on my son's bookcase because I think he really, he really enjoyed them. And the fourth one is called Grandma Loves Me. Yeah, Grandma Loves Me. And it's got like a few different, like it's got like a story on each page. Like it's different. It's like the rhyming type deal. Um, but he didn't really enjoy that one, but probably why he hid it. I think he hid it before he took his nap. So, that's probably why. But, you know, they're really good books. Like, comment, subscribe. I give... Uh, okay. Let me just give each of them a different score because they were all different. Okay, this one I give a 5 out of 5 stars because it has kick-ass illustrations and it's super cute. Okay. Rainbow Kittens, I give a 4 out of 5 because it's great for teaching colors and stuff, but the story was the story was pretty good, but it was lacking a little bit. But the illustrations were really, really good, and the colors are really, really great for a child. I think a child would really love the illustrations, and the cover is shiny, which always goes a long way with me. I'm superficial. I can't help it. Ten Tiny Puppies, again, the title is a little shiny, and the illustrations are gorgeous. Oops. So this one I also give a four out of five, because it does teach your kid how to count, but it's in such a way that there's a little bit of a story going on as well. And the illustrations are gorgeous. Look at the illustrations. Look, 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 look. That is so cute. A lot of detail went into these. So, and... My mother found my son's at Ollie's, but you could probably get online and order it from the publisher, or you could probably find it on Amazon. You might be able to find it at Barnes and Nobles or Books a Million. I'm not really sure. I haven't looked into it. But like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought of the pictures in the books, and let me know.